Sean Smith, and this is Salty Jobs. And I'm Sean Smith. We're here at Engineered Yacht Solutions, a metal fabrication and welding company. They specialize in anything from shiny stainless steel ladders to fixing big holes in boats. So Erica, how much experience do you have welding? <laughs> Pretty much none. <laughs> Likewise. So this might be kind of interesting today. <laughs> Very interesting. We'll see how it goes. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right. We're here at Engineered Yacht Solutions Workshop and Josh here is the process engineer uh, for this company. So Josh, what are we going to be doing today? Today we're going to take a template that we made of a whole plate insert. We're going to trace it out. We're going to use an oxygen acetylene torch to cut it out. So is that essentially a blowtorch? In some places it's called a blowtorch, yes. Where'd you learn how to do that? I worked in a couple of fabrication repair shops for a while when I was younger and then I started out in the marine industry. I started going to school for welding, went to school for machining and then after that I finished out and got my engineering degree. Well has it helped you to know a little bit of everything? Actually the marine industry is one of the few places where knowing a little bit of everything is super beneficial because there's a lot of instances where you go on these boats and what you're encountering is not the same thing that you encountered the previous time, so you have to be able to roll with the punches, and we kind of look for guys that are multifaceted and have experienced a lot of things, because they tend to shine in this industry. Well, I, I love your enthusiasm and your passion for this, and I can't wait to, you know, get to get my hands on some of these tools myself, so show me what's going to be done. Once Erica finishes cutting the hull plate insert, we'll take it over to the boat to weld it in place. We're here at Engineered Yacht Solutions with Garrett, who is a welder. Garrett, I see exactly what we don't want, a hole in the boat. What's going on over here? We've got a big hole here. Uh, you can see there's lots of corrosion. Um, you can see numbers everywhere actually showing the current thickness of that material. They did a little bit of ultrasound to check that. When you get to a certain minimum, you gotta cut it out and you gotta replace it. So Garrett, this sounds like a really cool job. How did you get involved in this field of work? Well, uh, a couple of years prior to welding, you know, I was just kind of trying to get by. I was bartending, still figuring things out, and a friend of mine suggested I get into welding. He thought it would suit my personality really well. And I looked into different schools to go to, and you know, I went to Manatee Tech in Bradenton, and uh, I did night classes. It was a year and a half program, and I was able to support myself working through school. And I actually uh, had the job lined up with EYS a couple months before I graduated, and I've been here for two years now, and I've been loving it. So what kind of skills do you have to have to be a welder? Patience. Patience is definitely key and uh, the ability to be versatile. Well, I'm guessing we're going to see some of that today. What's the next step here? Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get you suited up. We'll show you the ropes. So I got gloves. gloves. What are these guys? Sleeves. You don't want to burn those arms. They will burn. And the helmet. Yep. You got to protect the eyes. Cool. Well, I'm going to go put this on and then uh, let's get to work. All right. Sounds good. I learned that with welding, you can't go too fast or too slow. You have to find your rhythm. So that was really cool today. How was uh, cutting with the blowtorch? The blowtorch was so cool. There were flames flying everywhere. It was such an incredible experience. Tell me about the boat welding. Boat welding was really cool. What Garrett said about patients coming into play, I saw that firsthand. Really cool day. It's great working with you today. Yeah, you too. Shiny stainless steel ladders to big holes in boats. <laughs> Shoot, wait, I said didn't, I didn't say fixing stuff. That's gonna be a good blooper because I went like <laughs> this at the end. I was like. 